Hi. In this lesson, we will learn how to create a dynamic report. So in this database, we have only one report, which is the R report. By default, this report display all the staff member. We have 741 with this total amount of salary. But using the search form, I can modify this report. So if I select a specific building, the report is updated to display only the staff member from this building. I can select building and the status. So how many staff working as a full time in the main building. So as a full time in main building, we have 100 online. You can select as many parameters as you can. So if you don't create this dynamic search for, you will need 10 reports to get the result for a building, building and department, building and department and status and so on. So let's start from scratch. So I'm going to open a new database. So now I have a blank database. The uh, first step, I'm going to import the data from an Excel sheet. So from external data from a file Excel. I point to the uh, Excel file. First row contains column header. ID is not duplicate, so ID is not duplicate. I'm going to use the ID as the primary key. I will name the table as staff. So now I have a table with the 741 staff member with all details. Uh, I need to do the search using building, department, status, state, whatever I need. So we will keep building, department, and state. No problem. Okay. We will create uh, a blank form. But if I try to draw a, a combo box in the blank form, in the forming design, I would end with duplicated data. So if I try to add a combo box here, for the status, I have only four status, full time, part time, contract, and hourly rate. But because I get it from the table, it is duplicated. So I need to create a unique value list for the building, department, state. So I'm going to create a query design using the table, building, and from the property sheet for the query, I will make unique values yes. So now I can have a list of the building. So let's save this one as building. So now we have a unique list for the building, a unique list for the department. We have 23 department, a unique list for the state. We have only nine states. Now I can create my form design drop the three combo box, one from the building query. So now I have three drop down lists with unique value for the building, unique value for the department, unique value for the state. Let's create a good design. So, so now I add uh, a title for each drop down list. I change the colors. So now I need to add two buttons. But let's save this form for now. So this is the search form or the main form. Main this is the main form, main search form. Now I will create the report. Uh, the report is uh, a normal report from the table with all the data. But I going to take the ID, employee name, building department, um, status, salary, and state. I need to modify the report. I think now the report is okay. Yes, it is. Okay. So this report by default will display all the staff member, but I need to add um, a summary here. So I know how many staff member we have, how much salary and so on. So I can add a text box. I need to count the ID. Another text box, I need to sum salary. So 
pronounce OK. Align left. Enable no, so no one can select the content. Okay. Now we need to add a code so the report content will be filtered according to the selection. We will add two buttons here. But before I write the code, I have to rename the combo box to a meaningful name. So this combo box is building, or let's say build. This one is depth for department. This one is state. So the clear search is very simple code from event on click. It will take the build content and make it to code to code which means nothing and do the same with the depth and with the state now we can test this code ok it's working Now I need to add the report code. This is the most important code. This, this is the main topic. I will go to the code window. Now I need to create four variables. Three variables to take the value from the build, department, and state, and the four variable to create the filter statement. I will go step by step. So the first step to check has the user select a building so if me dot build which is a combo box dot value is not to code to code that means the user select a value in this case i need my variable which is v build to take whatever information is the build is in the build uh, combo box but if you do it this way you will end with a mistake end with a filter with a string value with a text value so you have to add one code and before and, and after uh, the value okay to understand this let's message box what is in the field belt so if i select main my variable is main this is not right this will make my code not working because i need one code before and one code after the text to add it to the filter so my variable is equal to to code one code to code and and to code one code to code in this case if i select building my variable will be one code main one code and so on. so if there is a select a building i take the value i add one code before and after i don't need the message box anymore and my filter is equal to building building here is the text from the table if you go to the table the field name is building so i use the field name so building is equal to the v build variable and to go to code so if i just select a building i take the value i add one code before and after i start creating my uh, filter statement with the same concept if me dot department dot value by the way you can ignore the value you can uh, type only if me dot department and it works the same it's not empty it means the user select a value 
In this case, I need the v depth variable to equal one code to code to code and me dot depth dot value and to code on code to code. Now I have to check if the user select a building or no. So if filter the variable is not blank, it means the user select a building, then filter is equal filter is equal the building he select and and here is for the statement because I want to tell the, uh, the report to display the value from this building and from this department enter filter now the filter is the filter which can be blank or building and the name of the field in the table is department equal and v depth which is my variable and to code to code okay just to understand i'm going to uh, Enable the message box for the building. Uh, I will message box the filters. No need to message box the building. And I will message box the filter one more time. If I select the building, so my filter statement is building equal main. That's it. No other action. But if I select the building and the department, so I start building is equal main, then I add and, then I add building equal main and department equal ABC. If I select only department, I have only the department filter step. Now I will do the same with the state so now i'm sure i have a, a good filter step i need to apply this filter statement to the report so do command open report the report name is stuff i am going to open it in the report view so i can add uh, uh, buttons filter name I don't need the filter name where condition is my filter value let's try how it will work so main this is only from main 200 staff member main from Arizona we have 20 staff member from Arizona all the people from Oklahoma all 741 that's it bye